Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another a flashback pen review here, and this is of the Parker a Duofold Prestige Blue Chevron. And this is a pen that I really, really like. And I'm just trying to remember back. It, it, it's about, let me see. It was uh, April 27. So it's about seven and a half years old now. And I remember buying this at the time on offer from Colt Pens. Uh, and that was before they were bought by WH Smith, the, the UK stationery store, uh, high street stationery store brand. Um, and... I got this for a very good deal. That these were retailing for around about six hundred pounds. Uh, I paid, I think, I think I paid around four hundred for it. So it was quite a good price, um, uh, considering it was from a brick and mortar retail store, essentially W H Smith. Um, that that I'd actually bought this from. It was W H Smith. I'm just trying to think about this. It wasn't Colt Pens. It was W H Smith that I bought this from. Uh, I did buy another one from um, Colt Pens at the time, uh, a little bit sooner after for a friend, um, for my girlfriend at the time. But uh, this one was uh, from WH Smith. So I got a really good deal. Uh, it was almost like one of these flash uh, sale deals. Um, you can see here, it does say uh, Parker Duofold there. Um, you've got the Ace of Spades. You've got the uh, Parker... Um, feather or quill clip there and you've got an 18 karat gold uh, Parker nib there and I got this in a medium because I really like medium nibs and this is a, a very very uh, it's quite a weighty pen it's not the, the weightiest though that I have in my collection um, I can post the cap but it is a bit long uh, it is a brass body pen and then it's got this coating over it as well but i just like this chevron pattern and it's more so this year it's caused me to go and buy a few more parker prestige chevrons like the brown chevron the black chevron uh i think black chevron was last year and then we've got the ruthenium chisel as well so i i just like parkers um this one I always find that this has quite a tight uh, thread on it. Uh, it's a cartridge converter pen, like all Parkers, really. They don't, nowadays, the modern Parkers, they really don't do anything else. But this is uh, a really, really nice pen. And I always think, have I screwed that up enough? No, it's still screwing up. I wouldn't want to uh, leave that unscrewed and then try and screw on the cap um but it's a it's a nice nice way of pen i i really really uh like this pen and I, it's what's caused me to buy more parkers honestly parkers are pretty good pens i think they are very understated as well but you can see here from this chevron pattern it really looks quite captivating and you've got that lovely gold arrow feather clip or quill clip there um it just really is a, a nice pen so i think with that let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a a, a noto and this is the charles dickens david copperfield we have a mont blanc and this is the writer's edition sir arthur conan doyle 1902 edition we have a marjon titanium ti 136 we have a Mont Blanc Writer's Edition, Robert Louis Stevenson. We have a Mont Blanc Around the World in 80 Days. We have a Parker Durofold Prestige Blue Chevron. We have a Marjan uh, P139 P in the white, a Marjan P139 in the orange, a Banu Euphoria Earl Grey T, and an Asvine V1 
26. So I think let's go into a writing sample. So this is a uh, Parker duo fold. Du it's a U and then an O fold. Uh, prestige. Blue chevron. And it's a medium and it's an 18 cat gold nib. And the ink in here uh, today is Diamine China Blue, which is a nice uh, blue ink. It's not normally an ink that I will uh, ink this pen up with, but I decided I would do today. Uh, in terms of line variation, you are definitely seeing a Western medium. Now, if I apply a bit of pressure, you can get maybe a little bit more towards a Western broad. But this, like all Parker nibs, are quite stiff. So you are not going to see too much in terms of line variation. And you can see there is no hard starts or skips on this nib. So uh, it is quite a uh, nice uh, writing nib. Uh, in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. And we'll do a cross stroke as well. It's not a fire hose of a nib, um, but it's wet enough to be wet uh, and give you a very lovely writing experience. What do I like? What do I not like about the pen? Well, I bought it seven years ago. I got it for a good price. I typically see similar offers uh, for what I paid for the pen. So although I thought it was a like a one sort of in a lifetime flash sale deal, uh, I constantly see these being reduced to that same value uh, in sales. So yes, I could probably sell it if I wanted to at some point and sell it for a little bit more. Uh, I probably wouldn't. I do like these Parkers a lot. Certainly, I like the Prestige a lot more than the regular resin versions of the Parker Duo Folds. Uh, and I like the, the Centennial uh, versions of Parkers as well. Um, I like a lot about this pen. I like the weight. I like the size. Uh, I like the nib as well. I like it's a cartridge converter. The only thing I do just like a little bit about Parker nibs is that they are very rigid nibs. You really very rarely get a lot of bounce in those nibs or a lot of flex in those nibs. So although you can see there's a little bit here uh, in terms of line variation, when I try to push it a little bit harder, you're not going to see a huge amount. But I still like this pen a lot and I have in uh, 2024 bought a load more Parker pens, some prestiges and some non-prestige models. So there you have it. That's my flashback review of the Parker Durofold Prestige Blue Chevron in a medium 18 karat gold nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.